thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed Tunic, but I did not learn the language. The, the, there's a, yeah, the last thing that I have to do in the game is understand how the language works and then decipher a note that is in the, that is in the instruction manual. It's the very last thing that I need to do. I could just learn to read. Yeah, I have to. I could just go online and, and find then, a translator. That's, that's but the then why would I just go to the guide and it would tell me what to do? Right? That's, yeah. the, that's to do the like the big final puzzle. There's 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 like a not the big final puzzle like the the ending A or ending B kind of stuff. This is just like here's one more thing that you can uncover or find uh, if you translate this stuff. And I was like, okay. Well, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can try to puzzle out how this language works. And then I realized after about 15 minutes of staring at the things, I was like, I was never built to be the kind of person who does these kind of ciphers. My, uh, my brother and I uh, had a quite enjoyable time playing um, the Chants of Senar. Uh, and that, that, one's, uh, that was really interesting because it's like, not only do you have all these different languages, that they each have sort of their own grammar and so you'd be like, okay, which one are we trying to talk in now? It goes object first or subject first. Oh, I see. It's like, oh, I see. This is gonna go. Super cool game. I have an unopened, well, not an unopened, but I have a, a couple years ago I found a a full set of the mist box with all the components in there that were all unused. So I've got like the original unused booklet and all the manuals and things from it. For just the original mist or for like all the. The original mist on the computer. Ooh. Oh, hypercard action. 